who got all these vacuums out? I mean, geez, it's like somebody hasn't been here in a while. Maybe Thomas. That's right. It's now time for mini meet number 22. Oh, it's been eight so long. Months. Yeah, eight months. Unbelievable. And I believe that these are all the machines that he hasn't had a chance to use, which is a bunch. I think that's, I think that's 10 of them. One stick back and all the rest are, are uprights. Yeah, there's yeah, eight, eight. Yeah, there's 10. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> he's over there and I'm over here behind the camera. I gotta get busy here. Yeah. You're gonna have to get busy. So I guess pick one and then. We're gonna play with a little toy yeah. as his wife Ellie likes to call it. Yeah, it I is. Don't, I don't know how to work this thing here. Okay. I don't know how to pull the. Oh, so let's there. see. There's a little button. Yeah. Aha. Yeah, magic. Yeah. Click. Now it's a little less little, I suppose. So it's, it's a little, little taller. It's still a little toy vacuum. Uh, yeah. so it's like a little baby. It is. With a 12 amp motor. Yeah, with a 12 amp motor. A little baby vacuum with a hot rodded motor. So you can see what he has to use here during this mini beat. We'll be busy. Yeah, we will. And then there's a special extra surprise you'll find out soon enough. And it has to do with my previous video that was just published. You know, the thrift store one? So, uh, you actually just... I know, it, it's low rent, so just push it. It'll squeak. There you go. That's it. And don't don't push that button with the tape on it. Right. Yeah. Because you use my Loctite to fix your brush roll. Yeah. All right. Here we okay. go. It does. It's got a lot of CFM and I think it has some suction too. This little baby vacuum got some yep. to it. Yep. It does. Yep. Yeah, it squeaks a little bit. <laughs> Could use a little extra lubrication down there. It's like a little... It's like Hulk Hogan had a baby and instantly <laughs> got on steroids. <laughs> okay. Let's make a mess now and put all the vacuums over here. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta move vacuum. it out of the way, wind the cord up, put the handle down. One to the next. Let's do the... The uh, battery the... powered. Okay, here we go. The Dream Tech T10. And now you have three power levels right there you can play with. Start on and, power. Yeah, and try them and then tell me what you think of the difference. And you can move the power levels when you're vacuuming. Actually, to the back. Let's start on low and then okay. go high. Alright. Here's low. Yeah. Well, how it just put me to sleep. Yeah, very quiet. So, how is it push wise? It's simple. Very easy to push. Handle weight. Yeah, it's heavy. It's not handle weight. Yeah, you have everything wrist, in your hand. My wrist would get tired. Yep. But as far as pushability, yep. it just glides. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so bump it up one. Click. Just a tad bit different, not for me, you know? Yep. Nothing to where I would be. Nothing that would be like. Oh. It's definitely very uh, maneuverable. Sure. Yeah. Maneuver give it a twist. Maneuverability. It's a twisty. But I can tell you right now, though, my wrist is already getting tired. Yes, it is. I think it's three and a half pounds, if I'm remembering right. So I, your wrist feels it. Definitely All does. Right. Just going yep. up to high. Yep. Oh, I can feel it now. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard, but it's still, you can, it's just like a just suction cut to the carpet. It does. I think it was around 70 inches of suction at the nozzle. I think it was a little more than that. You but can, that's, that's too much. 
Yeah, you can feel just suction cupping. Yeah. And with the handle weight, eh, I would be picking something that helps the vacuum a lot of carpet. Yeah. I mean, overall though, so I actually like it. Yeah. It would be just something I would use for a like, quick pickup. Sure. Um, so yeah, so just <laughs> yeah, put it back in the nether regions. I know some people say, uh, make a video of your collection. Well, you'll see most of it in this video. You might not see all of it, but you'll see most of it. He's got 60 vacuums and counting. Yeah. It just keeps getting bigger mm -hmm. and bigger and bigger. Now, these sharks I am familiar with mostly. Um, yeah. I've never used... I have never used one like this. Yeah, I've never used an NV90. Okay, we'll be. Oh, you don't want you don't want to get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Know. Okay, all right. We'll be right back. Okay. Have spam phone caller. <laughs> you gotta love those. Spam, 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 spam. I like Any... it when they text me and they're like, "This is your final notice." I'm sick of hearing from. Yeah, but final notice. <laughs> Anybody remember that Monty Python skit? Yeah. Spam, 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 spam. It's like on Roseanne. She says, "Look, final notice. Good. Yeah. I was sick of hearing from you." <laughs> So this is this is the NV twenty two L, not my L E, but there's the L, and there's no this difference is, in the vacuums. This just is so much lighter on my wrist, yeah, and so much lighter with vacuum. Sure. Easier to push even. Mm -hmm. This is so much better than that white and red one. Yeah. That white and red one, I wouldn't even touch it. Yeah. This one, not bad. Oh. And of course, all of his vacuum smell real good. It smell like Persil, yeah. fabric softener. <laughs> and I even put some Scentsy in there. I like this. Nice vacuum lines, by the way. I'm liking this one. Yeah. It's not an airflow. I like that one. That one's a... Oh. Yeah, and it's still going. And as far as I'm aware of, you know, it's NV22. It's the lowest shark number I've ever heard of. I think it was the original shark. On to the next. Yep. Just keep them coming. Oop. Over my wires here. Ah, the Hoover Air. I like using this one. You'll have to tell me what you think of it. It's not the greatest performing machine in the world, but... So far, the purple shark is... Yeah. We shall see. Got a lot of cords to wind up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have, yeah, a we'll have to take a break and have a cord winding yeah, party. We'll, we'll have a mess when we're done. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. A little bit harder to push in the shark. Yeah. Not by much, but just a little. Yeah. And it's a twisty. It's a swivel. Yeah. yeah. It does maneuver good. Yeah. It's a little bit harder, not by yeah. a lot. Yeah. That's the purple shark though. Still in. Yeah. 
This is really, it's loud. The, it, it, the brush roll makes it loud. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them do that. It picks up good though. It's got nice grooming lines. And yep. The grooming lines are nice and it yeah. seems to agitate well. But purple shark still. Still leading the pack, huh? Yeah. All right. So far. Move my lights back All a little bit. Yeah. So, <laughs> Be a mess of cords. Okay. I'm familiar with this right. one. So this right here, I can just, I can blip. Oh sure, yeah, it's yeah, very lightweight. lightweight. Now this one has the mangled base. It's a warped base. This one I know for a fact. It's it's lightweight and it's easy yeah. to push. Well, so you might think. The reason why you haven't seen this doing anything is because it might be something else other than easy to push. Well, with a warped head on, it might make a difference. Yeah. So, let's see. What do you have for your height adjustment? Uh, it's set all the way up to high carpet. Let's go in the middle. Where he okay, usually... so go ahead and do middle. He's always in the middle. Yeah. And get ready to cry. <laughs> okay, there's something wrong with this vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What tipped you off? It's warped. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> it's not supposed to do this. <laughs> okay, I don't want it next. Yeah. Now move it up. Now go ahead and click it up a little bit. All the way up? Yeah, why not? Hey, it's not going to make it any worse, right? It's broken. Yeah. Now, what on earth? That's easy. Yeah. I'll clear up a hop. Yeah. It's not really contacting the carpet Two like it should, but... Two yeah. fingers. Yeah. Put it on middle, it's like... Boom. Yeah. Okay, you go bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of, you know... You go bye-bye, not of you. My favorite brand of the vacuum. This is... That's heavy. Yeah. I didn't expect that to be that heavy. Purpose for pets. What is it? Model 140,000? I mean, <laughs> what a Actually, funny model this number. This is a heavy plastic vacuum for... Yeah. 2007, they made them heavier, I guess. Huh? More durable, I guess. Yeah. Something. That's... Well, it's lasted since 2007. I think the reverb came out really well with this. The brush roll, though, somebody used it a lot. So if I had a better brush roll, it would do better. But it doesn't clean, well, it, it's not average, put it that way. It's not at least up to average because the brush roll bristles are kind of worn. So I have that one click down because the bristles are, well, kind of worn. Well, this right here, it, it's like it pushed itself. Yep. I'm barely, two fingers on this one. Like yeah, when I put it on uh, level three, I it wasn't contacting the carpet at all, really. I'm gonna shoot a little bit. Yeah. We're going all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. It's still. Yeah, it's a it's a worn brush roll. What can I say? All the way down. It's still my man. Yeah. Yeah, that's that? one. That's one of the weirdest um, switches down there. This is very close with that purple shark. I'll have to debate on that one. Yeah. That one's a. I like that. It's heavy, but pushability. It's very. I like it. So if you if you remember way back when, uh, this was missing this, and. I think this right here, anything else? Oh, yes, and it was missing that. And the cool thing was is I had a 2004 Dirt Devil uh, Vision. I think it was like eggplant colored. 
and it went kapoof after about eight years in 2012 and I saved the parts that were still usable and I put them on this machine so they are authentic uh, period dirt devil accessories <laughs> I've been that's saving a, for too long that's a nice vacuum I actually I enjoyed that yeah and of course we get the the DC 33 the old school Dyson yep. And yep. this really isn't even, it's heavy, but it's not like super heavy. What I like about Dyson, this right here, these long cords. Oh, I, I love the, it's one of the best features of these Dyson. You get one with a 40 foot cord. I just love it. I, I just love short, it, love it, love it. You get a vacuum and they put short cords on it. It's like, yep. hey, you got to replug every five rooms. All right, away we go. And that one is set to, where am I looking here? Yeah, it's set to carpets, okay. I have a new favorite. Yeah. This one beats them all. Yeah. Real easy forward and backward, and it's also easy to turn. Yeah, super easy to turn, very lightweight. Or it feels lightweight anyway. I have a new favorite. It grooms. Look at those grooming lines. Yeah, it does. It just... It's not like the ball, but it really... It's not bad. Yeah, I know. It's really nice. Those people that have the older ones here, like... Don't DC, get rid of them. Yeah, DC-07, DC-14, of course... This DC-33. I've got a new favorite of the bunch so far. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to do the Eureka, and then I'm going to put the belt in the Sanitaire because it's just there's just it's just hanging out there on the handle when I'm not using it. No cord dump on this one. Well, it had one, it and then the, the, top, yeah, the top cord hook went. You know, well, it was bad when I got it, so yet another curb fine. But you know what though these uh, these old school Eurekas were really good vacuums. Yeah, cheap and they worked just fine. Eureka back in the day was really good. Yeah. I'm sure I had a bag of it. Yes, I know about the button on the side. Yeah. My grandmother had a vacuum like this, and hers was on the side too. This is purple shark level. Yeah. Purple shark level. This is very easy to push. It's not hard to maneuver. I can guess, definitely. So far, the Dyson is my favorite. This and the shark are tied. Tell oh yeah, certainly does. That's not, you know, this ain't bad at all. Definitely, it's a keeper. Okay, you know what, how about... <laughs> Clean all this mess up so he can go and take the yeah, sanitaire we'll go, for a proper the, drive. We'll go off camera for a minute, get these vacuums cleaned up, and we'll do that one last. Yes. Be right so, back. See? So you were just asking me, I put the belt on the sanitaire. You're just saying, has, has Ellie used the machine? Yes, she has. And it's a little difficult to push for her. I, I didn't think it's really, you know, too bad for me. And that we got it on position three. I guess we'll find out. Yep. Yeah. Donation by Robert Guizdala. Thanks again, Robert, if you were watching. Well, that's like, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, A-OK. -okay. Yeah. 
and I, I, I've got a bag in there. We have the bag set up right now. This should be doing over 130 CFM. And, you know, no tech drive, no power assist. Yeah, look at those lines. VG2 brush roll. <laughs> Walt. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is the base vacuum is cheap. It's like $129 US. Uh, add the VG2 in it, you have to pay extra for that. And then change the bag setup if you want, you know, to use bags, F and G bags, or use use the shakeout bag option if you want. It comes with the shakeout bag option. I like that. Yeah. It's unbelievably inexpensive. Like between this and that Dyson back there, yeah. I would definitely thumbs up. For sure. Yeah, it's up there. Uh, so Thomas has a machine here that has a story behind it he wants to tell you. Well, I essentially bought this machine off the Facebook yard sale and I was scammed. $60. And this machine here is like a $300 machine. I called Shark and asked them, was there anything that I could do about it? And she said, I had to give her the model number and the year. She said that the motor in this machine was recalled and that I qualified for a brand new machine. So, I mean, it's what's going to happen. Look, what's wrong with the machine, essentially, when you turn it on, the motor doesn't power up at all. The only thing that runs is the brush roll motor and the brush roll. That's it. So you just hear... Now, you don't hear like a vacuum sound. You just hear a brrrr. Yeah, so the brush roll spins and the motor just doesn't even start. Yeah, there's no suction, no airflow. It, it just, you're supposed to just beat in carpet. Yeah. And um, um, they told me I had to cut the cord on it. On, I actually yeah. had to go on camera and show it to them. And I messaged Bill and I said, Bill, I have no use for this vacuum. If you want it for like a project, feel free to take it and do what you want with it. So that's what this vacuum is going. It's going to Bill for his future projects and restorations. Yeah. All them lovely shenanigans that he does. So we, I will take a look at it and see what caused it to fail, if at all possible. And if truly the motor just kind of went kablooey. I think I might have another motor that'll fit it. So I've got a few extra parts. So let's move this out of the way. And Shark went ahead and did a lovely thing and sent Mr. Rechtenwald this box with a brand new something in it. Let's get down the floor here. Yeah. Now the box says for the model, it says uh, right there, NV356E. And then, what's the model number of the one that you had to cut the cord off of? 385, I think. Oh, really? Okay, all right. It says on the on the uh, sticker, or the, on the back there. Oh, okay. I just, I didn't get close enough to to read it. Is it uh, right, right here? Yeah. Right. <laughs> In the tiniest font possible. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. NV5... 85 yeah nv 585 which if it ain't this ain't the same vacuum i'm not gonna make a fuss yeah. i mean it was a yeah free. it's a free vacuum we assume it's new could be a refurb yeah, who knows but that was nice and it is different i can tell you right now well yeah boy that's white so i guess he just got another vacuum because it was under a recall because i think that other machine there was maybe even out of warranty depending on its manufacturer. They said that the motor in that model was recalled because it was malfunctioning. Yeah, well, apparently. It caused, um, it could cause fire. Yeah. So I've got a power nozzle. I've got a Kravitz yeah. tool here. Well, at least it's still a lift away. 
Yeah, it's just not a power lift away though, which I like. You know that that's a powered lift away lift away model right there. My aunt also has the powered lift away and I got the turbine tool that'll come in handy. Yeah. Okay. So carrying on. One time. Yeah. Got a dusting brush there? Yeah, dusting brush. Uh, yeah. The, maybe more along the lines of a, a poultry tool. It's mm -hmm. a little bit on the stiff side. Yeah, it is on the stiff side, yeah. Extension one. Okay. The main, the main attraction. This kind of looks like my uh, my parents from uh, from Florida. Got that new vacuum smell. Mmm, yeah. new plastic. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like—new plastic. Corner though. See, is that it for what's in the box? No, there's more Ooh, stuff in there. There's more stuff in the box. We have a hose. Yay, hose. Life is better with a hose. Well, when you got a vacuum that requires a hose for airflow, I would highly suggest you get <laughs> plug yep. it in and get <laughs> So, let's put this hush puppy together, essentially, yeah. click, click, and click, click, boom. It orients in there one way or another. Push it until it breaks. Yeah. <laughs> Bang. Then it needed replacing anyway. Okay. I've got a little piece right here. I think yeah. it go. Yep. Goes like that. Cool. I know one goes up underneath like this. Yeah. And this one goes on top. And this just snaps fabulous like so mm -hmm. and i don't i guess with this piece i don't see anywhere where you can put it so i think you just store it somewhere sure but um yeah i, I don't see a uh third accessory uh well, kind of like holder somewhere <laughs> there you go that's it but that's, that's, that's very stable isn't it yeah that'll, that'll stay there <laughs> That's it, essentially. I mean, yeah. so the, that's all the pieces. Yep. Okay. Not the same vacuum, but you know, I'm, I don't mind. I mean, yeah. It is well, a working one is better than a non-working one. Yeah. That's, so that's too bad that they they really kind of downgraded you just a little bit. I mean, as far as like uh, functionality goes. Well, like I said, when you get a freebie, and who can argue? Yeah. So, might as well. Uh, oh yeah, there's no no lights on this one, but you know, whatever. Might as well plug yeah. her in. And okay. Let her up. Let's put this off to the side. Let me get up off the floor. Cord was. That seems medium, medium long. Yeah, not too bad. It could be a little bit longer. It's not like Dyson or nothing. Yeah, probably not a 40 footer. I mean. What you do is just get you an extension cord and... Oh yeah, extension cords are cheap if you know where to get them. Okay, gee, first run. Oh, that just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
There might be a uh, suction relief twist on the handle. There we go, yeah. Much better. Yeah. Well, it grooms well. You can smell the, the new plastic. Yeah, new plastic. Ah, oh, that new plastic smell. I got that going on. Yeah. Mainly carpet fiber. Yeah. It does swivel. Not bad. That's the last time you're ever going to see the bin that clean. Yeah. <laughs> there is a little bit of dust in there, actually. Yeah, it is. It's filling up just a little bit. So. I'm gonna let Bill okay. try this out and see what he thinks of it. Sure. All right. Let's reset the camera up here. So this is the the 352 or 356. What's it say on the box? I think 350. 356. Okay. This is the 356. So many different model numbers. Let's see how this is. Full power. Oh, jeez, this is insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a... It's yeah. just... Yeah. It just <laughs> All right, that's better. Way too much suction. Yeah. That thing really clanks down to the carpet. Wow. So that's amazing. The the amount of, of clamping effect. Um, that's like because this thing is let me take a look at this. Yeah, that's gonna seal to my medium pile carpet. That definitely will. There's some little cutouts right here, but overall this is definitely gonna seal to that carpet. That's it's got a lot of uh, clamping suction to it. That's that's amazing. Well, look at the debris that's in the, uh, the yeah. bin. It's just like, you know, you just got done cleaning this carpet, like, water extracted just not long ago. Yeah, that, yeah, I, just, I did that for a bunch of different reasons, but that is, that's really, truly amazing. That, that's really something. Let me see, uh, see what we got It's my belly would look, use this machine, and she'd quit with him, yeah. and she would just... Yeah, that is, that is literally all... That is all carpet pickup. There's, there's literally no dirt, no dirt whatsoever. And I will show you. Maybe like a speck there. of fine dust or a tiny little bit. But that, that's like fluff. Yep, that is all. That thing is a real shredder. That's amazing. So, there. Hope you can see that. But that is. Well, I just pick it up here. <laughs> it's just like a I mean, ball of fluff. Yeah, ball ball of my carpet. <laughs> That's it. Let me turn this on here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Change the focus. And yeah, that's what it picked up. And that is literally all carpet. Shreds your carpet down to nothing. Might pick up some dirt, but boy, it's a good carpet picker upper. I mean that thing is a super shredder. Whoops. No, that's that literally is all that's all carpet fiber. Woo! Amazing. Okay, time for more stuff. So here are some other things that Thomas brought up. So he is uh, gifting me this Electrolux PN2, and I've seen these, um, but I've never actually touched one in person. It does need a brush roll. But uh, that is a really, you know, it's like the aluminum top here, and I'm sure that will uh, shine up uh, like a mirror finish. And then this PN12 he brought up so I can go and really finish up the only other rainbow tests I could do with this, and uh, I can hook this up to one of the E2 two-speeds and see just how well this particular brush roll, this, the, the whole PN, will do with a uh, two-pass, like say, sand and baking soda. So I think I've done, I did the 10-pass with this. Mm -hmm. 
um, but I need to do the, uh, the, the two pass. And uh, now, since I figured out how to go and, and measure um, the, the water loss in the rainbow bowls, uh, I can figure out if this one is better than say one of these guys see if there's any real improvement going from an older power nozzle to a newer power nozzle now some of you might know that I did a, um, a thrift store video this is my previous video to this mini meat video and there was a red vacuum in it and I think a couple of people asked about it but Thomas asked about it. He said, can you take me to that thrift store where that particular red vacuum is? And after we went to a pizza cottage and had a pizza. My favorite. Yeah. He actually went and bought this Dirt Devil MVP. Now, I think there's supposed to be something really very special about it because of the 12 amp motor and the bag nature and whatnot and I believe that this machine might be from 97 um, just based on the serial number or manufacture date so it has a brush roll in it that is in it looks like it's practically new I think it's got some wear and tear on the machine in general but we powered it up and seems to be okay as far as we can tell at least initially. So, um, do you want me to run it, or do you want you want to run it? I'll let you go first. Okay, all right. They'll they'll let me run it. So, since you're the one that originally found it, I'll let you yeah. go first. Then. Okay. Let's see, okay, quick cord nut. It's kind of handy. So I know some people will be kind of interested in in this, and he may even leave it here for me to run some tests on it. So let's see, we got a bag in there. Yeah. It's got some dirt in it. I'm not probably don't need that. I'm not familiar with like what style bag this machine uses. Yeah. Well, this bag appears to seats. Is it okay? Mm. It looks okay. Well, I mean it fits kinda, you know. I don't think it's perfect, but you know, whatever. And in there, oh, is that going to stay on? Oh, maybe it needs, well, maybe that's one of the issues. Oh, there, it goes. there it is. Okay, stay there. And we'll set it somewhere in the middle. Okay, stay there. Don't fall over. That'd be really embarrassing. If it's from 97, you definitely, it's got a little bit of <laughs> It's a, got some wear. It's got some wear on it, but yeah. it looks like it's been very well taken care of for the most part. There's a cord here. Yeah, it doesn't look as bad as it could, that's for sure. I mean, okay. The vacuum that mm -hmm. Bill has found at the curb, this is like yeah. immaculate compared to what he's found. Yeah. Doesn't appear to be too bad. All right, let's, let's see what happens. Contact. Hey, the brush roll is working. It's not slipping. Yeah. Look at that. You just put it all over the place. Yeah, it, it it seems okay, you know, more or less, less or more, whatever. My turn. Okay. Oh, yeah. My turn. There you go. That's it. 
Why do you need to uh, you know vacuum front to back? Just go side to side. We've been doing it the wrong way for decades. Front to back is just a no go. You just got to go side to side. You know, that motor doesn't sound that bad, so. Let's take off this. Oh, there's a tag. Little tag here. Yeah. It's so yours the, now, no no tag required. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm impressed. Yeah. So we, we paid, what was it, 14, 14 plus tax. Yep. It came with a full set of attachments too. Yeah. So, no complaints on my end. Yeah, you got a you got a tube there. Uh, here, the flip, flip, flip it around here. This brush roll spins. Yeah. It, the belt's even in good condition. How often do you find a thrift store vacuum with a good belt? Well, the brush roll looks like it's practically new. I mean, somebody will um, leave leave a uh, comment down in the comment section. That's where you leave comments Whoever as to is the brush roll that's in this machine the one that's supposed to be in this machine? Or is it an upgraded one that's better? Or is it just one that's just different? Or is it one that's worse? Seems to be okay, but we don't really know. I don't know the history of the MVP, the, the well, 12 that, amp MVP. This will definitely be a, a fun one to play with. Yeah, sure will be. wonder what kind of bags it takes. Well, we'll go fiddle around, and I'm sure we'll find something that fits. I mean, obviously, I think that was like a Febreze bag that was in there. Might not be a perfect fit, but it didn't blow off. By the way, when we was at the shirt store, and you asked if that one little part on the back was for an extra belt. Yep, it says right here, extra belt storage. Yeah, isn't that nice? Belt style. It takes bag type U. It bag type right U, okay. Belt style four, bag type U. All right. A little hard to see there, but. Ooh, so yeah. that's a that's a lot of machines we've been through here. Yeah, I know. It's a vacuum wonderland. Yeah. So, got, definitely got some work cut out here. Yeah, got a lot of testing to do and whatever else we can possibly think of. So. Stay tuned for more. This got more to cover. Yep, you betcha. And it's the next day, so we are back. Day number two. So Thomas has brought this extra, extra black, new extra length rainbow hose. And it was a special purchase, and it's specially modified to hook up to a PN12. Yeah. I uh, have a friend that follows my YouTube channel that um, I was watching some of his videos and I noticed he had the E2 black hose but he was using it on a PMCE. I'm like how is that possible? I'm like the E2 black hose only hooks up to the E2 black rainbow that has the wands that snap together and they plug into the PN type 12. It's like all snap fit. He said he had a friend that custom made these and he gave me his information and I messaged him and told him I wanted a hose, the longer hose that would fit the, uh -oh. you knocked my back over. <laughs> That's the one that's tipsy. MVP. Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, um, I told him I wanted the one that, I had the PN Type 12 with the cord, and it had the one, the one piece one, not the two piece that snapped together. He goes, I, I've got this hose, I can, he goes, I very well, I can, I got one stock right now, I can send it to yep. you. So, so we're going to uh, see what the differences are. Now, Thomas says that he has enjoyed with this new hose, 
uh, a lot less leaks and you can see that it's nice and shiny and it's obviously a different color so let's try the old hose hooked up to this platinum blue and let's see what this does see if there's any measurable difference at least on this type of a system here the so blue and straight. the right. silver and black hose that you see there that's the hose that i that originally comes with the rainbow i think i get you closer e2 than gold that. e2 platinum you know so on and so forth the black hose you don't it's it's mostly exclusive to the e2 black not the older units but okay had to shorten my stand probably sounds a little bit on the creaky side all right let's see what it does now this is this is the i guess more original hose or older hose let's try that first <laughs> Okay, I got about a four. Let's see what we have for suction. 72. Eh, 74. about 74 okay, inches. so we got a bared four and I'll have to look up to see what a bared four is. I'll have it memorized. Okay now this one is uh the long longer bears. so let's stretch this new shiny dude out. There it is and let's hook it up see if there's any appreciable difference. Okay, let's do airflow first. Now it is a longer hose, it's about a foot longer. I gotta move this over here. Okay, we are stretched out. Let me get it level, because that makes a difference. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a three and a half. So that is that's probably about three or so CFM less. And it's probably because it's a longer hose. Okay, so let's try the suction. And for that, I have to move in a little bit. Because of the constriction. All right, here we go. Oh, it's tighter. It, it's definitely tighter. Uh, 70, 76. That's funny, lower yeah. suction, lower airflow, higher suction. Yeah. So let's put these two hoses together and we'll sum up the difference. Change the camera angle. Okay, to sum everything up, this shorter hose right here got 74 inches of suction and 77 CFM. I guess this is the, the seven foot total length hose. Yes. This newer hose over here, this is a foot longer, it's eight feet, got 76 inches of suction, but a little less CFM, it was 73. So this hose does appear to be just a little bit tighter, um, but because of the length, it's got a little less airflow. Well, Thomas and I were very pleased that we were able to find both bags and belts for this, we think, 1997 uh, Dirt Devil MVP. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put the best bag that we could find in there and the best belt that we could find in there. And then he's going to leave this with me and I'm going to do a bunch of tests with it. So, Dirt Devil MVP fans, rejoice! So, here's what the collar looks like. It does have a nice little rubber seal here, so that's nice. So, let's see how well the fitment is. I mean, this is the bag that's supposed to go on here. If anybody can um, point me in a direction where I can find HEPA bags for this machine, 
please comment down below as usual and let me know. Okay. I will keep an eye out because I hate paper bags, but this is all we can find. Hopefully that expands. It seems like it could be a little uh a little bigger than that, but that's what it's supposed to take, I guess. Yeah, not go all the way on. No, I mean it's all there, but um the width wise, it seems like the bag could be a little wider. Oh gotcha. Yeah. I thought you meant the bag didn't go on all the way. I was like, it should. <laughs> so I'll get this thing back in here. Oh. So I'm going to put it this way. There we go. He's having trouble. There. <laughs> Turn it that way. Getting stuck in there. It's like, why is it so stiff? Okay, so it's a little it's a little loose, but when you turn it on, it'll, you know, suck itself together, I suppose. All right. Let's get the belt. So this is four screws here. And the brush roll looks really fantastic. Looks like it was just barely used. Thomas said something like maybe they had this machine and just left it in the closet for a while. I would venture to say like it was like an old person machine and like um, they probably just put it in the closet somewhere and they passed away or something like that. Then relatives come in and clean their house out and they find this machine and they just give it to Goodwill or something. Because like if you look at the pla like the plastic on this machine is like it's all shiny and. There's hardly any scuff marks on the the, the head, and I if this machine is from '97, so I mean, it's 24 years old. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Yeah, look at you, the difference. A well, machine from '97 today would look like junk. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the old belt definitely stretched, and here's the new one. Oh, so, it's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> There, if I try to line them up, it's probably a good inch or so. Okay, now let's see how well this will fit. And see if I can do this without pinching myself. I've done it before. I've got my fingers stuck. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Now, this has a nice tight fit. I also lubricated the sleeve bearings in here, too, with the blue can 3-in-1. So, gently, gently. Trying to be careful. It's a vintage machine. All right. That looks pretty good. Let's put this back on here. So stay tuned for all kinds of tests with this guy. Decent brush roll, good, good belt, and appears to be a decent bag, although it appears a little skinny for my taste, I suppose. Now the height adjustment works pretty well with, without squeaking. All right, that's done. Okay, we've met our initial target bowl and water weight of 2461.1 grams, just like we did before. Okay, here we go with a two-cycle baking soda, or fine dust pickup, with the PN12. And this test will be comparable to my other rainbow tests. So this one, because I have to, well, weigh something that's thousands of grams, I'm using 20 grams rather than my normal 10. 
but I'm going to even the playing field out a little bit by spreading the 20 grams out over twice the area. So it'll be the same dirt density pickup just as in the previous tests. So this is a very, very narrow brush roll. So the pickup area is going to be not very wide and extremely long. Hope we don't go off camera. <laughs> it's so long. But the brush roll in this PN12 is very, very narrow. Okay, 20 grams. Make sure we're lined up. There it goes. You want to hot some, just hot it in the carpet. Yep, hot it in the carpet. You wouldn't know the carpet was dirty. Okay, two cycles. for just a few seconds of testing. Now, we have to go and weigh what made it into this bin. So I'm going to reset the camera up for a different angle. And let's see what she weighs. Alrighty, hope you can see that. It's a little fuzzy because it did pick up some fine dust. So if you think you're seeing cloudy water, it's because you're, you are seeing cloudy water. So let's take 2468.8 and I'm going to subtract 2461.1 and that gives us 7.7. .7. Now I have to add back in the known water loss, or at least the average known water loss, of 2.36 grams. That gives us a total of 10.06 out of 20 grams for a chart topping for a rainbow of 50.3%. So I'll move the decimal place. Yes, so the PN12, Thomas should be very happy, does a great job with baking soda. Woo! Yay! Better than any other power nozzle and rainbow setup that I've tested to date. I don't believe I've ever tested the brush roll RPM of Thomas's PN12, so let's test it now. Cue Thomas. So around 7460, a little less than 7460. All right, we're going to close out the Minimi 22, I believe. 22. I'm going to leave my brand new shark that I got in the mail with Bill for viewership and stuff. 
These two are coming home with me that he's had for eight months now. <laughs> yeah. The Eureka, I don't think I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to give it to a friend that has a thrift store and let him use it to vacuum the store with. I just, this machine here, it's like on its last line. It's old. Needs new motor bearings. It's just wore out. And it's yeah. just, well, not only that, the clamshell of it is just broken in pieces. It's just, it's wore out. It's burnt. Needed glue. It, it lived its life. The Electrolux, however, I'm glad to have that back. Uh, that Electrolux is in mint condition and is more than likely 40 years old. Yeah. That model was in the, came out in the 70s. So, that being said, we've also got baking soda left in the carpet from the rainbow test. At least so 10 I'm grams. Gonna, I'm going to use the Sanitaire. Old, I'm going to use old Sanitaire here to mm -hmm. clean that up. So let me help you move some of these out of the way. Get golden oldie out of the way. Yep. <laughs> and take it away. You know what's funny is I cannot stand his uh, Frank and Hoover back there. I think it's the ugliest thing oh, ever. Yeah, the Hoover convertible U4007. I like. I like the color. The color yep. is much better. It just looks better. That thing back there looks like a sunny side of egg. Yeah, it's old. Hey, it was good in the 70s, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> it's not the 70s uh, anymore, is it? <laughs> if, they had, if they had HEPA bags back then, that would have been an immaculate machine. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yep, we're up. It's like a carpet burp. Yeah, burp. Yeah. I can smell the sensi. Got a little bit of yeah. sensi in there, yeah. Oh, carpet burp. More. I'll tell you what's a good substitute. The, the game sink is used laundry. Sure. You put your washer and stuff. Those work well. Uh, well, I'm not back to the whole world. Yep. So I hope Robert's watching. He probably is. That are KG5 vacuums. Oh yes, KG5 vacuums, absolutely. So big sanitaire guy. Give this another one sandwich. She's all clean. And that is it. Fantastic. Well, thanks once again for joining us for this unbelievably long... You know, it's really kind of a mega mini-meat. It's mega at least in length. Yeah, two days worth. Yeah, two days worth. Holy yeah, moly. Catch up today. Certainly did. All right. Thanks again for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.